people. And that's where strategic initiatives come in. So on this particular dashboard, and again, this is very different than some of the other dashboards you've seen. And again, that just speaks to the versatility of Anaplan in terms of its ability to kind of visually represent information. So in this case here, what we have is a slightly more detailed PL. We've got prior year performance measures as well as what our current base case is, and also our final uh, base case with the impact of initiatives, which right now there is no impact. We also have looking at different initiatives going across on this other grid. And as we scroll down below, you can see that we actually have several strategic initiatives that uh, that we that we have. So in this case here, we can look at things like supply chain synergies. And as we select those supply chain synergies, we can see down below the financial impact of those, uh, you know, of that of that initiative. If we look at grow revenue, which is kind of where, you know, where I'm going to focus on for this demonstration is we want to grow revenue by 12%, but we also think there's going to be, you know, obviously increased revenue is going to require increased cost. So we have, and again, what you're able to do directly within this, you know, within these grids is select your PL impact. And what you're seeing here is a list of things that you can pick from. So again, Anaplan provides a very engaging and intuitive uh, user experience that really allows users to, you know, start working with the platform right away. And you can see when we click into the cell, we have a list of things we can pick from. And you can also have guardrails as well, so that when you have contributors, you know, they can actually be constrained to kind of pick from a list of valid things that they can that they can plan to. So we'll go ahead and select revenue. You know, we'll go ahead and select revenue here um, as well. And basically, um, what we got is. You know the ability to kind of have like those different you can define those different impacts and you can also define sort of what the quant quantitative impact of those so we we want re revenue to grow by 12 percent, but we also think that's going to have a corresponding uh, increase in costs you also can get a little bit of background about the initiative as well so i've done a lot of work with organizations around strategic planning and you know like 99.9 .9 of the time these things are all in excel because you have uh diverse data, right? So in this case, you have not only the strategic initiative, but and you have the goals of those initiatives, but you also have the business case, which is what is it we're trying to do? What are the objectives? What do we do next? How do we track it? How do we know whether it's good or not? And who's responsible for the decision? And 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 so on. So you can kind of track both the quantitative and the qualitative aspects of your strategic initiatives, uh, you know, all directly with an Anaplan. Uh, you also have the ability, if you wanted to, to create new initiatives on the fly simply by clicking on a button on a dashboard and entering the description of your initiative. And so, you know, users who have the appropriate security rights can actually create new initiatives. And then for each initiative, also create corresponding goals directly on the dashboard. So it's really empowering. Anaplan really empowers the users to be able to kind of perform their job functions without really relying on uh, relying on others, which potentially could serve to be a bottleneck when you think about other products that are out there that are more like technically require more sort of technical expertise and so on more on that a little bit later but essentially here we're going to go ahead and activate this initiative so as we do that you'll see that anaplan has automatically calculated the impact of that initiative and it's put it into its own discrete category which is very important for tracking purposes right because now the next step of defining these initiatives is then tracking your actuals against against those initiatives, uh, and 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 that's really the, that's really the, the key thing, which is seeing how those initiatives, you know, planning what you think those initiatives, how they're going to perform, and then actually start tracking how they actually are performing, and then determine what you're going to stop, start, or continue based on those uh, initi initiative uh, impacts. And then also you can see here that Anaplan is automatically baked in uh the impact of uh, of that initiative and that's led to basically a nine million dollar or close to ten million dollar impact uh to the bottom line you also can have anaplan flash up warnings that and again talking about in that earlier slide dependencies right because that's key is understanding what the downstream impact of this decision might be that if we do want to grow revenue by 12 percent you might have now capacity constraints within the organization that you now need to address uh, in this case, Anaplan is able to monitor those dependencies, track those dependencies against a threshold that you can specify, and then flash up warnings to say, okay, well, if you're going to go down this path, we've got to look at other things such as organizational capacity to deliver in order to realize this, this, uh, this strategy.